is Pixie again. I know you've missed me so, so much. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you happen to be watching this. My name is Pixie, and here's another video of me rambling on awkwardly. Yay, awkward. Um, I wanted to show you my dress, because it's super cute, and for once I'm not wearing pajamas while I record. So this is a dress I found at Goodwill. It is vintage guess. It's actually a size 7. I usually wear a size 3 to 5, so you can tell how vintage clothing has actually changed in size, and it has pockets. I know that's like the most popular question, but does it have pockets? So, goodbye sweater. Every time, I'm like, I'm cold in this house, and then I'm like, not. Maybe it's the ring lights. Maybe it's the vent. I have no idea. The world's mysteries. Uh, I hope this isn't too bright. Mm -hmm. Turn it down. Better. Right? Yeah? Nobody ever comments on my lighting, so I don't even know, like, until I watch it myself three times in a row after I upload, if the lighting's good or bad, if you can actually see the makeup. So, we'll just get into that. I am wearing... I use the Wet n Wild Photo Finish, I believe. Coconut water. I know there's like, I have two of them. It's the coconut something setting spray and primer. And I've talked about W7 before. This is the mascara I'm wearing. I told you in the last couple of videos that I love the way they come in tins. There was like fur on it. It's called Kapow Knockout Lashes and it's like a little sampler. I wear the one in the middle, which is Lashtastic False Liquid Lashes. Yay. So this was wine glass. $6.99 at Bell's Outlet, and originally $14, but yes, it comes with this little collectible tin, it's so cute, because I talked about the brows before, that's what I'm wearing for the brows, obviously, but yeah, little tins, very cute, it reminds me of like Altoid tins, so once you run out of the product, you can keep these, maybe little crafts or something, and the eyeshadows I'm wearing are a combination of the Artistry palette by Bad Habit, and I love this palette, but it's I'm like getting really into neutrals, which is weird because usually I'm rainbow everything, but I got this off of Hush, and I did a, do a little note-taking and research to see if it was still available. Artistry 2. I don't have the first one because I used this to get... I used my points from Hush before they kind of closed or ended or whatever the hell Hush was doing. I used my last points to get this. Um... But I did see it on Poshmark for $13, if you do like this, because I was like, it's kind of weird. It's all neutrals, except for one blue, but the blue kind of matches the palette. Yeah. And Bad Habit is cruelty-free, as far as I know, and then I blended it with the Nicole Miller Artistry makeup palette, which I love. I love packaging so much, but I especially love this one. I think I bought it especially for the packaging, so you see it opens like a book. You still have the rose, and then it opens like this. So I used, let's see if I can find it. I used this middle, very bottom. I threw away this blush brush because it sucked. It was like literally shedding on my face. So it was like toss, and I used this. It has two, like a blush and a highlighter. I used this highlighter. So I'm kind of liking it. I like, you can see I blended the blue and like a little bit of brown from this one. Oh. If I could close it properly. This is by Nicole Miller. I love her stuff. I feel like she's very underrated in her makeup. And my lipstick is another Manic Panic. Yeah, I don't even know why I do this. Because my camera's just like, <laughs> we're not focusing today. But I feel like it matched my hair. Mm. Yep. It's called Mystic Heather. It's another Manic Panic. Matte gloss. Uh, not matte. Matte lipstick. I have words, I promise. So now that the makeup's out of the way... I thought about doing like a get ready with me, but I just kind of like, I throw my makeup together, like whatever I feel like. There's no typical day-to-day -day makeup. I don't really do eyeliner. I don't contour. I don't wear blush. I like highlighter. I like weird eyeshadow. I do my eyebrows and then I pick a random color. Like you can, uh, wow. Thank you, Nicole Miller, because I'm blinding. So anyway, um, this is part two of probably 18 to 24 of my shoe collection, so I figured I'd just dive right into it. I did take some notes, 
so I wouldn't forget in case anybody wants to know where you can get these or if they're still available or what they kind of run for if they are discontinued because I'm going to start with the Dolls Kill ones and when I did my research they are out of stock on Dolls Kill but right now um, if they are available they're kind of on clearance and whatever sizes they have left that's it like they'll say last chance or last one or blah 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 and when I bought them they were not on sale so they were $100 each and these are kind of like sister boots like they're the same style but just different style if that makes sense like the same shape the same heel same platform different styles and I bought them at the same time I got them for $100 each but let's see the first ones I'm going to show you I saw on Poshmark which you know Poshmark and Depop are kind of like if somebody's selling them they're going to be in one size unless they bought dead stock whatever that is because I've seen that term tossed around on YouTube. I guess dead stock is like discontinued, but somebody bought a lot of it, you know, with tags. But yeah, I saw Poshmark. These are, I wear a true nine to a 10 if they run narrow. Uh, these are the landscape boots. Oh, I love these. They lace up the back. The only problem I have with these, like, yes. Oh my God. They are just like little pieces of art. Yes. And they're like kind of 3d, like all of these little emblems and designs are sewn into the leather. They have a worn, look in the main part of the boot they have a hidden platform uh yeah these are about six inches i wear these so often along with the sister boots i'm about to show you they're a little bit shorter but same heel same platform these are by current mood as i said before i'm going to repeat myself a lot in this video i feel bear with me um when Dolls Kill runs out of stuff, they usually say, like, hey, you can email me when you're back in stock so you can sign up for that. They usually replenish their stock. I just think these are adorable. They're very 70s, very 60s, retro, go-go. They come to about mid-calf. The only problem I had with them is when I bought them, they do come with these silver metal weights on the back. So they tended to come untied. Because you do lace them up the back, they even have like a reverse tongue, which I thought was really unique. So it doesn't take away from the design on the front. So yeah, these are the landscape, landscape boots by Current Mood. And you can ask pretty much anybody who knows me. I love these boots. I live in them. They are insane. They're adorable. They're comfortable. If you're used to wearing platforms, there's really not much of a height difference between the heel and the platform. So yeah. And they are a true nine. I actually had to add mine the fur I actually had to add the uh, the stick on sole because they are pretty slick and it rains a lot during the summer in Florida so yes love these guys so much landscape boots current mood hundred dollars seventy five dollars on Poshmark currently if you could find them huh, current currently mood current mood currently these are the sister boots I think these were called rainbow shock and a lot of people joke that these are my kiss boots, but like I said, they are the same flare, heel, same hidden platform. They're a little bit shorter than the landscapes. You can see them side by side. There we go. So you have about like, yeah, about a hand. But the, again, I had to put the soles. I, I just bought these off Amazon. You can stick them on any heel, any platform, and you'll get some grip. If you're walking on something slick, they also have the same metal weights. I wish I didn't leave them in my computer room where I cut them off so I could show you what they were. But yeah, as you walk, they become untied. And also you have to wear higher socks because this glitter actually somehow chafed my calf. So it kind of burned the first time I wore them. Maybe it's just a matter of being broken in. But they are as shiny as they look on the camera. I'm glad I put the lights on bright tonight because lights on bright tonight rhyming. Yes, I love these guys so much. <laughs> Again, I did it in a, I ordered these in a nine, and the glitter doesn't even really flake off. Like, I can rub them, and it's just nothing sheds. Like, a lot of backpacks and shoes have a tendency to just kind of shed glitter everywhere you go, but the glitter is solid on the boots. Just going to beat the shoe. Uh, these were also $100, and when I found them online... They were on clearance for 60 still on Dolls Kill, but they did not have many sizes. They have like a 5 and a 6. But keep an eye out for them if you like them, because they're awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's like my high school dreams are coming true. I always wanted rainbow glitter boots, and they just didn't exist, and now they're everywhere. So I'm like, yes, current mood. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, I just like stabbed myself in the eye with the laces. 
Because the laces are kind of rough too. You can see they're glittery black. They're frayed. I've been meaning to change the laces myself because I don't like those weight things. But sometimes it's hard to lace these up because you're kind of reaching behind your legs. You have to get like used, like, oh my God, you have to get used to that too because I'm used to, you know, Doc Martens and lace up typical goth boots. You lace up the front. Never had to do it from the back. That's what she said. But yeah, I mean, once you get used to it, wearing them, they are super, super fun. Got so many compliments on them, and some people are like, oh my god, and I'm like, what? <laughs> and then I forget that I'm wearing them, because I'm like, oh yeah, the shoes, got it. I'm used to, like, being the hair, or, you know, the unicorn earrings that I talked about last time. So, I only have three more pairs of boots. Like I said, I want to keep these videos short and sweet, show you my collection, and not make you fall asleep. Like, when, when I show off boots. So I'm just getting the boxes up here where I can reach them. Another one of my favorite sites because it's kind of cheap. Well, not cheap quality, but it's like a good site to go to if you want lower costing dresses and skirts and boots. So I got these for Christmas because mom's just like, what do you want? And I just gave her my wish list and she's like, go ahead and order them. You're like, I'll wait. Go Jane is almost like what Delia's was. Rest in peace, Delia's. I know they're in collaboration with Dolls Kill, but it's just not the same if you grew up with a Delia's catalog. You just... <sighs> I love you, Delia's. I miss you. I miss getting a catalog like Alloy. Does anybody remember Alloy? Or Girls L Girlfriends LA? Was it Girlfriends LA? I don't think anybody remembers that, Sarah. Shut up. <laughs> so I got... The these boots for Christmas, I hope they're still available. I'll leave a link for gojane.com down below. And if anybody remembers the 90s Delia's and Alloy catalogs, like I said, you'll be like, oh yeah, I know exactly what kind of style she's talking about. I got glitter boots. So they have like kind of a, they remind me of a cowboy style almost with the heel and how low it is. And these are super narrow, but the best thing about them is they have that reverse sequin thing going on and they're like this velvet patchy like it looks like it's random but it's actually intended to be like that like that way and they're like slouch boots they zip up the side they're kind of uncomfortable to wear just because this part is so narrow and i have a matching jacket which i should probably show but i'm never gonna wear the two at the same time yes i have the crazy sequin like i guess you would call this a windbreaker style it just has a zipper down the front and like these puffy 80s sleeves. <laughs> I love it. It's crazy. I'm going to wear it next time it's cold, <laughs> which is like February for Florida, but or central Florida. Yes. Anyway, this is not about the jacket, but now you know I have these. <laughs> I will never be, maybe, maybe I will be that crazy lady who wears them at the same time. But yeah, these are really cool. They're by the brand Bamboo. And it was too late to return them, and they didn't have a 10, so they are very narrow as a 9. And, yeah, they're just called Immerse. It says pink, but they're very rainbowy. Reflect with the light, they kind of shift. And Yes, I love them. I love them. Don't look at them too hard, because, I don't know, it would be dangerous. Very reflective. I'm <laughs> just, like, the box is, the box are rove torn. Hi. So I've been meaning to like go through my shoe boxes and kind of tape the corners back because a lot of times when boots get delivered to me, they arrive damaged. Like, yeah, bamboo at gojane.com. I will remember to put that in the description below. These next boots, second to last, I ordered from Amazon. They're considered pleasers on Amazon. So I'll leave that link down below as well. But they, the box is demonia. So when I looked back on my order history, I couldn't find them. So I just typed in shoes. From like previously ordered history or whatever and they showed up as pleasers but the box clearly says demonia proof <laughs> i had to order these twice because they are so narrow they even a 10 pinches my foot so these were or are currently if you can find your size on amazon these are 39.89 so 40 bucks if you have prime they are free shipping but these are the cutest gothic looking Mary Janes I've ever seen. They have a skull buckle on the heel with matching two strap buckles. You can see the little skull profile. But when I took these, 
I got the nines originally, and I sold them to a friend. And because it, it, it costs more to send them back from Amazon and trade them in. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to sell these and then get a size up. And they still pinched. You can literally see how narrow they are. So if you have a wide foot, do not order these. Um, they're called Demon 16 Black Patent Upper, like kind of a matte black. And I love these so much, I wish I could wear them more. They're true demonias. You can see the label inside. But when I'm done wearing them, even for a couple hours, these grommets and the skulls leave little grommets and skulls on the top of your foot. Like, they hurt. And um, maybe it's just the design that's probably why they're not on the Demonia website anymore because super narrow, but they do have a good sole. You can hear it. It's got some grip on it, so I didn't have to add one of those sticky things. But yeah, I wish I could wear these more. They're very Lolita, very old school. Like, they remind me of, like, what Hot Topic used to sell. Rest in peace, old school Hot Topic with your gothic gowns and fake corsets. Oop. <laughs> it was not buckled. But yeah. Um, wide foot. Don't get these. But I'll still leave a link down there where they're available on Amazon. I did not check the official Pleaser slash Demonia website to see if they still sell these, but yeah, I love them so much. Like, I want to wear them so badly, but they just are painful. And what's really cool about some old, older Demonia shoes is they come with a little slip cover if you don't want to keep them in the box. This <clears throat> allergies, yay. These little slip covers, it's the same material. But I like to keep my boxes intact if they arrive intact, or otherwise I just like kind of display my shoes around this room. Yeah. So yeah, you can fit both shoes easily, and or you could use it for something else. It has a little drawstring. You could use it as like a little laundry bag if you travel like that. It's really cute, and I was like, that's kind of a nice touch for Demonia slash Pleaser shoes. And yeah, so there you go. Like I said, very tiny, narrow heels. Even though I'm a true 9, I ordered a 10 and they still pinch my feet, so design flaw. Yay. If you saw any of my previous videos, well, one in particular, obviously, these are by Club X because I wanted to keep the brands kind of in the same genre when I do these videos. We're at 17 minutes, so I'll wrap this up really quick. You've already seen these if you're not new to my channel. But these are my babies. These are by Club X. From <laughs> Dolls Kill. That's how heavy they are. Because the box just fell off the stool. So these are called the Space something Nola. Space Stone Nolas by Club X. True 9. I wear these all the time. They are my one of my go-to boots, aside from the uh, torments that I showed in my last video as well, but they are oil or they are oil slick words again, and they have this foam grip. They're almost like platform rain boots, but I just love the colors. They're holographic. They are very comfortable. They zip down the back. I usually don't have to adjust the laces at all. I've worn these many, many times. Ronnie calls them my uranium boots. I love these. They are no longer available. Well, well, they're currently available on Dolls Kill. They were $98, I believe, but now they've dropped down to $58 for their clearance. But just like the other boots, they don't have many sizes left. But Dolls Kill is pretty good about restocking their most popular boots. So they have different versions of these. Some are like pink snake skin, but they're all holographic. They all have this heel. They're all like the same style. They're just different styles. Same style, different style. Thanks, Sarah. Okay, that was obvious. No, same heel and platform, just different colors and different textures. Some are glitter. I found a new one called Ice Something Blue Ice, and they're just beautiful. They're black gradient glitter into like a light blue, and I'm like, frozen, gothic, Elsa. It's going to happen. But yeah, these are, I wear these all the time. <laughs> I just reach for these constantly, and if these ever broke, my heart would be also broken. And they're easy to keep clean because whew, they're so slick. You just, if they get dirt on them or something, they just wipe right off. They're, like I said, they're almost like rain boots, but just fancy. And I really haven't had a problem with them. I only had to lace them to fit my calves once, so they're very adjustable. Haven't slipped or fallen, <laughs> so that's good. 
But yeah, these are my favorite boots, probably. If I had to pick, like, one pair of boots in my collection where for the rest of my life, it'd be these or the landscape boots. So let me know what you think about these shoes. If you want to know where I got them, uh, I'll leave as many links as I can down below. Like I said, some are discontinued, but some will be restocked. Some are kind of like third-party sellers on Amazon. You know, if you really like these and you have any other questions, because I tried to explain them as much as I could, and now you have like a bigger idea about like what's in my closet. Yay! Getting there. You know, I think it's just going to be a whole series. Like a, my closet is so immense that I might just have to do one section at a time. So starting with the shoes seems like the easiest thing because I can just box them back up, put them in my closet, and move on to the next thing. So hopefully you enjoy this series, my journey on YouTube. If you like anything like this and you're not subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe. Hit the little bell down below. Comment with any questions, comments, concerns for my well-being. I don't know. And be sure to check out my other social media. And I hope you are having fun, whatever you're doing tonight, today, this morning. Whatever you happen to be watching. And Pixie out. Love you guys.